What is up everybody, welcome to this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how to fulfill orders using our Tessas applications. So, in this tutorial guys, I'm going to be using the Shopify, because Shopify is going to be really, really easy to create your very first store, e-commerce store. So, if you want to have calls, this great account, this great website, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description, so we can get started totally for free, and you might be enjoying um, three months of Shopify, whether that will be from a basic or a standard plan for only just one dollar. Yeah, uh, so let's jump right into it. Let's go straight into the uh, subject. What do we want to do is to either open a new tab and look for the Deezer's uh, dropshipping supplier which appears in here. This is from AliExpress or you can choose to go into Shopify, create your website and once you create your online store, what you do want to do is to go into Add Application and here what I want to do is to go into the Shopify App Store or look for the uh, application recommendations which I will be the users AliExpress dropshipping. So what I want to do here is to get into add. Really, really simple. What's going to happen here is that the is going to be asking me for the authenticator inside Shopify. So I need to grant the access. I want to go into install the application. And once I successfully done that, I want to create an account or if you don't have an account, what you want to do is to enable the option that says create an account for you. So we can just skip the part of the tutorial and getting to get started and just like that we just linked it our account into the users. Now what you want to do here is to link your AliExpress account into Shopify. I want to choose linked to AliExpress. What do you want to do of course is to create an account here. I want to go into register. I want to go into my email address which is actually this one and I'm going to hit into a passcode, a strong passcode in order to continue. I'm going to hit into create account. And so as you can see, we're now inside Deezus here. As you can see, here's the platform of AliExpress. Uh, so what I just wanted to do here is to actually, now that Deezus has been linked into Shopify, what I'd want to do, of course, is to list one product into my Shopify store in order to uh, see the fulfillment order. So I'm just going to be focusing into something really, really simple. For example, you're going to be choosing this option. I'm going to get into add to the import list and um, this and this as well so what i want to do is to go into my imported list so i can see that my items have uh, now been added successfully i want to get into edit product and here let's say i want to focus into just this title hit into save and once you finish edit your uh your product with your specific details title description and all that I want to select all of them. I want to delete this, hit into save. I want to select the three of them with this mark, check mark, and hit into push to Shopify. So what's going to happen here is going to be appearing what is the store selection, the preferences, and the, push, the pushing details. So you want to select the three of them and hit into push to Shopify. So as you can see, the two products have been pushed. We have the check status. Sometimes it works really, really easy. Sometimes it don't. If it doesn't, it's because we need to um, add or edit something right away. So in my case, I have one that wasn't um, uh, pushed. So we want to go into review. The product contains more than a hundred SKUs. So what you want to do is to hit into the X button. And if you want to edit that, I want to go into edit product, you want to go into the variants, and here into the variants, as you can see, we do have 200 and a ESKU, like really, really, with a lot of characters, so I don't want to do this at the moment, I'm just going to be focusing into the products that were imported right away, so I want to go into products, and here as you can see, here are both as the products already added. So now what I want to do here is to make the order fulfillment inside Deezus to Shopify so I can make the process really really simple. So what I want to do here is to go into my products. As you can see we do have only two items already available and here I want to see the three dots. We have the open in Shopify and I'm going to click in here and what you want to do of course is to go into the supplier optimizer and here 
I can just make the automation of the order fulfillment. So what you want to do is for the find exactly the same products as you just linked it into into this is from this is into into your account into your own store. So as you can see, it says searching products. I just need to wait a couple of seconds till the website has found the item that I used from AliExpress. So as you can see, here it is. Here's the product, and here are all the variants. So it's speaking about the prices and all that. So I uh, just want to make sure of that. You want to make sure that you have everything already here added, and you want to, uh, to add those into the ported into the imported list. So that's the reason why you want to copy and paste all that information. And once you have successfully done that, uh, you're going to go into click here. Just a second here. As you can see here, we have the supplier optimizer. What is it? How to use the uh, optimizer method number one. We just paste that really, really simple. We didn't have to do absolutely any of that because this was all automatically added. So here it is. Here it is. And here it is. So as you can see, all of this information um, has been just added successfully. I just need to click into imported list. As you can see, this is the import list. I hit into import list. Product imported. The product imported successfully. Please go to the import list to check it. So I'm going to go into the import list to check it out. The item that I um, make the order fulfillment. So as you can see, here is my price. Here is the Shopify once again. So I'm going to go into push to Shopify. So that two ways that we can do this. You can do this automatically as we just did before. Or first of all, what you can do is to add this into the optimizer of the supplier and add that into your list. So inside your list, what you can do is to choose push to Shopify so you don't have to do the whole process again. So with that being said, that means that this one that we added before is no longer needed. So I'm going to hit into delete and hit into confirmed. If I do this, this item automatically is going to be just uh, pumped out of my Shopify account. So if I go into my products, I'm going to go into reload the page and I should see only two products available. So as you can see, there are two of them. What I want to do is to try to reload the page and see if this one has been successfully deleted. Deleted. If you don't see that, you don't have to be worrying about that. What you can do is just select the item that you don't want to see into your store and hit into delete. Here it is. Remove tag. Remove from collection. I'm going to choose this option. Hit into save. Now, by default, we only have this product already added into the order fulfillment. So that means that when someone buys a product, it's going to be appearing here, my open orders. And here you're going to be appearing all the pending, the payment, the shipment, all the information is going to be added in here. And automatically, all that information, of course, is going to be added into my Shopify store from the item that I just linked it from the order fulfillment. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tutorials about this, Shopify and Deezus. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you on the next video. I'll see you soon.